In this video, we're going to look at installing Tailwind CSS in Nuxt 3. Uh, now, I'm not going to lie to you, this video probably doesn't actually need to exist because it's actually really simple and the instructions are really easy to follow as well. But you know what? It's just it's a bit of content for me, really. So you're going to have to live with that. Uh, so, first thing we're going to do is just make a new Nuxt uh, installation. It's really hard to speak, uh, think, and type at the same time, so that's why nothing's happening here. So uh, feel free to just skip ahead when I'm waffling on like this. Uh, so let's just create a new Nuxt project. Let's just call it uh, Tailwind CSS installation original. OK, so let that do its thing. Um, also, I just want to say, I listened to the feedback from my three subscribers who said that I should um, get rid of the music because it was too loud and you couldn't hear what I was saying. So I did that and that's why it's probably weirdly quiet now. So yeah, so um, we've created that and now we're going to install it. Ah. You can probably just hear me typing, which is a bit weird, but you know this is what you ask for, so that's what you get. Um, so I'm just going to let that install. While that's doing that, let's have a quick look at Tailwind Docs. So this is the Tailwind homepage. Go to Docs, uh, and then we're looking at installation framework guides. Next JS. I mean, this is so this is so good. Like the instructions are so simple to follow. Like, that's why I say you don't actually need me to make a video, but I just wanted to make some content. Um, okay, let's see how's this getting on. Oh man, it takes ages. Okay, well while that's doing that, at least we can have a look at what we need to do. So oh, it actually tells you here. So this is making your Nux project. Okay, install Tailwind. So we're just going to copy those things. So is that done yet? Nope. Okay. Okay, that's finally done. Um, also, going to actually open this up in Visual Studio. What is called? Right. Uh, okay. Okay, so now we can actually install Tailwind. So I'm just going to copy that. Also, if you're noticing these, this like kind of a decline in the standard of these videos, it's because I decided that I wanted to kind of care less. Um, and just do it in one take and deal with it if it's not perfect. Um, just seems to be a much more effective way of getting stuff done. Um, okay, so da -da -da. add Tailwind to your post CSS configuration. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that. Nux.config.js. Paste that in there. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, save that. Configure your template paths. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it into tailwind.config.js. Get rid of that. Let's paste over it. Create an assets CSS main dot CSS and put that in it. Okay, do that. Let's just do that down here. Directory assets. Let's 
you don't have to do that in the terminal if you can't do it or don't want to. You can just like right click up here and do a new file, new folder. Okay, so paste that in there, save it, that's that. And now we need to add the CSS file globally. Okay, so that's in nux.config.js. Okay, it's the same thing. Uh, save that. Okay, run that. This is probably going to take a little while as well. Okay, let's just go to that. Okay, it's starting up. Okay. Let's just make sure that works. Okay, yeah. So now if I do that here, put a class here. With a bit of luck. There you go, it's worked. So now you can use your Tailwind classes. So that's how you install Tailwind CSS in Nuxt 3. Um, yeah, any questions, just leave them in the comments. Um, but I think that pretty much covers everything.